And welcome back, everybody. It is our first look at Gathering Storm, and it is Canada Edition, and we are having a lot of fun with this run. It's actually a new day, as you can probably tell. I did not spill anything on my shirt or anything like that. It's a new day, a new shirt. Um, we took a break after about 10 hours last night. So for those of you on YouTube, we have a refreshed mind and uh, a refreshed look at our uh, civilization here and what's happening and what we're doing and things that are happening and whatnot. And uh, it is a lot of fun. Let's take a quick look at some of the things we could have been doing better. Exploring, we could have been doing better. We're not. This slinger has been a trooper. But we, we could definitely learn more. I would like to, uh, if we could, clear this area out. Like this. And, of course, clear this area out. Um, trade routes in a tourism game is extremely important, as you guys know. So, this right here uh, is obviously an easy trade route. And this right here is an easy trade route. We shouldn't have any problem whatsoever getting a trade route down. Uh, sorry, down to her as well. And if we can get a boat in the water... This city's having trouble, but if we, I'm hoping they can hold on to that. But if we can get a boat in the water, um, that'll be a, a trade route to her. The only one that might be a challenge, uh, like I was looking at, is possibly down to um, to this uh, lovely gentleman here, Coupe of the Maori. But I was thinking, if we could get in the water basically Toronto I don't think it's actually that far you see you can actually see this symbol right here is the same as this one right here right so it's just to here so we might actually be able to go Toronto across the water and and possibly hit he's gonna have a city on the coast along here somewhere so we might be able to hit those up as well and we have a lot of friendships and if we can make them into alliances we do have the alliance card on to make those trade routes really strong for us as well um, we already have nine trade routes going, and we're in the process of getting two more trade routes built. Uh, in four turns, we are going to have a trade route available there, and five turns there and there, uh, eight and nine. So we're going to have lots of trade routes coming up. We want to start making the trade routes go to other people. We're going to want to make alliances, like I said. So I'm going to probably actually look into making one or two alliances uh, in the near future definitely with her i'd like to make her happy but until i get a military which i'm not going to get friendships are nice friendships are the best so that is that we are uh, going to also we're about to be making some uh hockey rinks which is going to boost our culture dramatically so we're going to plop some of those down probably this turn even um yeah we're probably going to plop down our first hockey rink this turn so it's going to be great. Um, what else was there I wanted to, to take a look at? Oh, let's, we could take a, look, a quick look at the actual victory conditions here. Culturally speaking. And right now, Cleopatra is actually doing quite well for herself. But there isn't too much defense at the moment. So as long as we can get things moving... Um, with the uh, national parks and the... Uh, we got to get the flight, too. That's the other big thing. Let's take a quick look at that, where we're at. Flight's going to be the biggie. we got to focus science. Heavy. Heavy, heavy focus on science. Because we need to get right here. Which means we need... We need military tactics. Which you used to be able to skip, but now you can't. Um, <laughs> rip. Uh, let's see. We gotta get a lumber mill built so we can get that bonus. Uh, we're working in here at the moment. We'll, um, two harbors isn't gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. We've got the guild civic. We're about to get the enlightenment civic to get that. Workshops is not gonna happen. But then we're on to flight. Industrial era or later wonder. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Plus 100% diplomatic favor per turn from starting uh, a turn as suzerain of a city-state. Oh, okay, so that's from city-state stuff. Okay. For culture. That's one of the new wonders there. Panama Canal. 
Um, so I'm just thinking, as a thinking. I would have loved to have gotten Big Ben, but I don't even need that to get the flight, and I don't want to. I don't want to diverge from the from the flight path. <laughs> you see what I did there? Um, and it would take a whole bunch of extra um, technologies in order to get up to uh, up to that. So Big Ben is is not going to happen. Oxford University is a possibility. We do need to push science hard. So we could take a look at that for a position, just because it'd be nice to get some boosts going here, and certainly the flight, the boost of flight just to hurry up that is is going to be nice. So um, maybe taking a look at uh, where are we? Sorry, at the industrial era later. Wonder would be good. Um, options in here. I mean, we're not going to divert down here, so we could potentially maybe try to squeeze Hermitage out. Just just for the boosts, but I don't know about that. Um, breaks my heart that we're not going to go St. Basil's. I mean, we could come back for it later if nobody's built it, but it's just I don't want to divert from here. Hey, Silence, good to see you. How tourism can... Okay, so Karen, basically, when you look at here, okay, so you have your tourism return that you're granting, but what actually is, is important is actual tourists coming to your land okay so anywhere when you hit click on the tourism lens here it'll tell you if people are actually showing up to your land all right so you, you have an actual tourist number so like when you go into your great works as an example or you hover over top of a national park or something like that it'll tell you how much tourism it's generating per turn but what the actual key is, is how that generates into actual tourists coming from other civilizations. And so right now we obviously haven't got any, but we're working on it. <laughs> um, we fo we decided for to focus commercial hubs in this game. I'm not sure how much I'm down with it or not. It worked out okay. Um, but I wanted to focus gold so that we would be able to purchase lots of national parks with our mounties. And... I also want to um, go culture, so science has suffered quite a bit, and I'm I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous about that. But that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna get our, our ranks down, and then we'll see how things go. We gotta get the flight, like I was saying, because that does that important. So um, this number up here is tourism per turn. Uh, sorry, right here, twenty four tourism per turn. That 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 includes anything like. Uh, the, the great works for instance we're getting eight from here and 16 from there that's our tourism right now that we're generating okay and and there's it's kind of a calculation where basically once you get to a total amount of tourism in any one location then it attracts a tourist all right so so that's why it's important to have concentrated tourism numbers and not just a small amount of tourists on tiny little places everywhere it's each individual place accumulating tourism i've tried to do the math on it and it's hard I've I've noticed that it's like the first time the first time you get to two hundred tourism in a location, it gets it gets you a a, a like a, um, a tourist, but then it's like every four hundred or something like that afterwards. The calculation is kind of weird, but it's essentially a concentration of tourism. That's why you want like national parks that have really high numbers, as an example. Um, I was just noticing this national park here is going to be a bit rough because I've got this mine there. I mean, it, it'll be okay, but probably want um, to put city park there just to help counteract that. We can get rid of the mine, but we just won't be able to put trees on it. Yeah, silence. I think for the most part, there's times when they won't want them, but I think for the most part, what you can do with that is if they're not accepting anything, you have to like offer them more. You have to actually, you don't say put something up there and say, what would you give me? And they don't, and they say like $1. But if you actually add on a whole bunch of extra stuff, like say, give me all this gold, they'll actually give you a number they will give you. So it's a little bit of a glitch from how it used to be. Uh, Darude, I will be, yes, after flight. 
After flight, I will be going for rifle. Absolutely. But we're going to flight and then to Eiffel. I'm going to skip uh, computers for that 25% boost. I'm going to skip it for now. I'll get to it eventually, maybe, but... It's helpful to understand the mechanic. Yeah, I'm glad that helps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Druid, what's up? Math is hard, but tourism math is particularly difficult. Amen to that. All right, so let's make our dedication here and kind of get moving on with this thing here. Um, I feel like Reform the Coinage is pretty good. We're going to end trade routes quite often with the amount of trades that we've got. Um, we'll get some districts made. I'm not sure if we're going to get that many, though. I feel like this is the way to go here. Um, we're going to definitely want to uh, get into a Golden Age after this. Um, I'm just trying to figure out... It's going to suck having our workers be slow again. Now, here's the key. Once you've built the hockey rink, it has... You can't transfer it to other cities. So you got to make sure the tile's owned by the proper city right here before you actually build it. So this city of Winnipeg, this is going to be their uh, hockey rink right here. All right. And then this city here is going to have their hockey rink there. Hamilton's going to have their hockey rink right here, which is good. And then Brantford's going to have theirs here. So that's all going to work out. Now, here's my thought. Here's my thought. I kind of want... I'm not going to do it. But I kind of wanted to put the first hockey rink in Brantford. And I'm going to tell you why. The greatest hockey player ever to live was born and raised and played hockey. In Brantford. And I kind of thought it would be fitting if he um, got the first hockey rink. But that being said, putting it in the nation's capital is also a pretty good idea, I think. And um, yeah, they would they actually, Ottawa um, is where the Stanley Cup actually originated. So not bad. I'll take it. So we're going to go ahead and plop that down. Take our era score. And we're going to delete that pin. And just look at that. Just look at that culture, baby. Our culture is going to go through the roof. Um, in Brantford, again. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, Winnipeg is going to get the second one right here. Zoink. So Ottawa's is actually only a five because it's got this one grassland adjacent. But there wasn't much I can do about that. There wasn't really much I could do that. I could have like swung them around, but then I would have taken up a hill. And I was trying to not take up hills. So Um But look at that. The culture is just it's gonna be right through the roof, guys. It's a memorable moment. Exactly, Karen. This is a memorable moment. Our first hockey rink. Right here. This is it. You could just take off yields for a moment and just stare at it longingly. The workers are just finishing up the uh, finishing it up. They need to get off the land so we can see it better, but <laughs> Seafair, what's up, buddy? Thank you for that. Um uh, do 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 do. Yeah, I, I've been selling my resources to the AI like crazy. Every time I accumulate, I just sell it. I just sell it all to them. Whatever. Just take it. Take it. You finished a Christina game last night. Uh, I don't know how I can play another culture civ after that. It's insane. Yeah, I know. I'm actually going to be uh, Christina in our multiplayer game tomorrow. It's going to be pretty great. It's pretty fun. Tifer, it's good to see you, bud. Thank you for stopping by. Happy Gilmore was born in Brantford. There you go. Double whammy. Oh, you're making a joke because I made a joke about... Sorry. <laughs> you caught me there, Druid. Yes. You caught me there. Happy Gilmore? You're spoiling me. Oh, you don't have the money for it. 
I'm sorry to hear that, bud. Um, this guy is going to get that chopped there when I can. Um, this guy is going to drop that in there. Um, let's see. What else do we need to do? I kind of want to head north as best I can. So we can't build Forbidden City anymore. And I was thinking... I was thinking there's a lot of chops left in this city as we uh, as we close in on Patella Palace. We could potentially be ready and chop out um, Oh no, Oxford University couldn't go there. Oxford University would have to go like here. It would be a thought though. To chop out Oxford University, if we had a ton of chops left after Patella Palace. Like, a lot of these are jungles, though, so it's not going to be as effective. But we do have... Um, this is a stone that's in range. It would cost us a lot of money, but this stone's in range as well. Um, so we'll have to see what we have left, but Oxford University would be an idea to get that boost. And also to help our science. If it comes in a tortilla... I probably want to eat it. Oh, so you're done too early? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a thought that I'm having too is... Um, is my worries about... You know, finishing games so early, I'm going to miss a lot of the new features in that. So I think what I want to do... Sorry. What I would like to do is... Not in this game, but on, I'm going to at least on one or two games try to... As best I can... Stay focused um, on like enjoying the depth of the game. Um... And and not worrying about like playing a little bit more casually and like purposely kind of letting a game stretch out and not and not go over the top with it. Um, after we're done in here with Patella Palace, I'm thinking I'm gonna move Magnus over here and eat the deer and the trees into here and try to get the campus just up to the university level. And this city is just going to be, it's not going to be very, like, it's, like there's a lot of the production already in the city. So when we hit those, it's just going to be farms. It's going to be pretty weak overall as a city. But it's fine because it's going to have its districts. And uh, it's going to have a nice population going. And, and we're just going to have to be happy with that. Um, in here, i to get down to here onto the road network so we can head north. Um, we have a stone there. We can figure out what we're going to do. Possibly that stone will help Broadway, actually. I would imagine stone there, stone there for Broadway, and then a bunch of trees. Um, so I'm going to have this guy just actually go there and be ready to chop out that things. Yeah, I'm not sure, Silence. I thought Carl was saying that he was on pace for a sub-200 Diplo victory in one of his games when he's tweeting out about his prep with the game against Ed. Um, I, I, I don't want... No. I don't want to trade away my silk because the silk acts as extra. Everybody wants my silk now because it actually, actually acts as extra... Um, amenities. Like each extra copy actually acts as such. So it's helping our um, our happiness levels quite significantly because each each copy helps. So. Hey Bradley, how are you? Um, 
You are going to... Actually, you're going to go there. You are going to go there. You are going to go there. Instead of a sub-200 victory, go for a more, more than 300 victory. <laughs> yeah, it would be a challenge, Karen. We'll just have to, like... We'll have to get our spy game going and just make sure we slow everybody else down. And Yeah, I'll have to figure out. Maybe a couple of the civs... Um, we'll just we'll just play super casual and and try to just uh, relax a little bit, if you will. Three, three turns. What in the heck is going on? How could that have only taken three turns off? What what is going on? That that shop was what 147? You live in the new update except for World Congress. You see, I'm actually liking World Congress quite a bit. What, what don't you like about World Congress? I, something's gone wrong there. That chop was 147, yet the production says there's only 148 done total, but it's been on. I already chopped down like three other things. Okay, we have to, we have to do something for science here. That doesn't make it. There's no. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, auto save. Uh, just load up this game. It didn't give it any extra. It didn't get anything done. It didn't add any production. You keep getting outvoted. Well, you better get yourself some more favor. Because the key is right. Is you get your favor back. If you if you invest your favor into getting extra votes and you lose. Then you get that favor back. So eventually you should have lots of favor. Because everybody else will be using their favor to beat you. I am I am 100% completely and totally confused as to what I just saw there. I hope it's not a glitch or something broken. Okay, so, in this city, I don't understand. I already chopped down a whole bunch of stuff. I already chopped down a stone that was here. And I, and I chopped down something else that was over here. I've chopped down two or three things. How am I sitting at 19 production? Yeah. I've been on this potato palace for like three, four turns now. And I even chopped down what was ever in here as well. I'm pretty sure I've chopped down three things into this. How is it still sitting like that? I'm going to roll with... I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Oh. 
Oh, shoot. I need to buy these tiles. I don't know, guys. I could have swore. I have been chopping into Patel Palace already. The math doesn't even make sense. I don't know. It is an absolute, complete, and total mystery to me. I don't know. I, I remember like I was finishing off the university is what I did. I switched from the museum to finishing off the university. So maybe I was chopping into the university in that first. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Lixie. How you doing, buddy? How viable is Canada if you don't spend on Tundra? Um... Well, they're definitely not particularly good because you can't build the hockey rink anywhere else. And that massive amount of culture is, is a big part of the boost that you're going to need um, to get pushed through to... Because uh, what you want to do is you want to get your hockey rinks right here, but then you also need to get all the way down to professional sports. And of course, you need to get to, to, uh, to flight as well. But... Without that, yeah, it's hurting. It's a big, it's a big part of their game. It's gonna be powerful tiles. New opinions are always. You got the future culture. You got the future six last night before winning the game. Yeah, I know. I'm not even going for computers, Lixie. I'm well. I'm going to go for it eventually, but I'm going to go to flight and then I'm going to go to Eiffel Tower. That's a big nerf. It is a big nerf. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. We need all the science we can get, even though it's not going to add a lot. We need every little bit we can get. Problem is finding a spot for it. I don't want to pass up on the gold. This is definitely giving us more. That's a ton of gold. I think I go like this. I'll, I'll, I might put that trade confederation back on in a little bit, but for now. That's an extra 10 or so science that we just added that I think is just way too important. It's got to be a thing. So in here, we're going to chop this out like that. Oops. What the hell? There we go. 
Finish off that campus. Throw in the library. We, of course, want to get as quickly as we can to, um, to uh, libraries and universities because we're getting 100% production towards them at the moment. So, In fact, that was actually... I'm kind of in a rush to get my uh, hockey rink down, but it would have been better to wait two turns. It would have been better to wait two turns there so we got the 100% production chop. Yeah, Congo push, uh, producing over 300 tourists. Wow. Two, turn 200. You need to be spending that money, Bradley. You need to spend that money, buddy. Gotta spend money to make money, baby. Never wait for hockey. Exactly. Just chop everything down in its path. Never delay. I'm going to be paranoid and check every single time before I put down a hockey rink that I put it in the right city. Now here, that's very interesting. That they've made this a five. Because they're, they're not actually counting mountains as, um, as a tundra. Which actually, I think, in specifically, if you actually look in the description, that actually sounds right. Because it actually says, um, can be uh, built on, uh, sorry, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra, tundra hill, snow, and snow hill. So it doesn't refer to anything but mountains. So that actually does make sense. So that's something to keep an eye out for, is to not put them next to mountains when you think you're getting a plus six. We're, we're good in here. It was just really the one hockey rink that was getting hit by that. So... We at least know that that was inaccurate. Um, an accurate portrayal of what they were saying. Alright, let's see what happens here. 167. Yeah, I must I must have been just wrong on that. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it's a small map. Yeah, I think I might have been chopping I, I just it was last night, right? I think I might have been chopping into the library and university last night and just had a little bit of carryover and then that was about it. I, I guess I just misremembered on that. I must have just misremembered. That's my bad, guys. <sighs> Beer Belot. What's up, bud? I need these promotions. Then I'm going to slide up here. Um, I was just wondering. Uh, where is World Congress? Where is the World Congress screen? Oh, here. There we go. Um, <laughs> getting used to it, folks. Give me a break. <laughs> I can't believe the freaking Diplo favor he's got going there. Seeing AI going for safe wonders much earlier with expansion. The Coliseum and Kilwa. Oh, really? A little bit of adjustment in their priorities, I guess, Lixie. 
Um, so I just want to see uh, review the uh, Congress was convened in twenty turns. Okay, so we we get this bonus towards production towards campus for twenty more turns. That's good to know. So twenty turns where we get that extra production towards those things. This is good. Doing all right? <laughs> We're doing just fine, beer. I'm doing good, thanks. Is there any way that I can possibly speed this up? Thirteen turns. That's good, because what ha what'll happen is I'll get Magnus over here to chop these when I've got the hundred percent, and we'll get the library and university done real nice. My company loves this place. They were going to let people go home early because of weather, but her employees of other companies were getting into a lot of wrecks, so we have to stay. That's so kind of them. And of course, when when they when you is your actually end of your shift, you won't be at any risk of getting into those same wrecks, right? So. It's, o it's only people who get off work early who are at risk of getting into car accidents, so. It's Dido time. Oh, baby. You're struggling to hire devils because the map you're playing is too big? Yeah, I mean, certainly, um, if you play on maps like Archipelago and Islands and stuff like that, it, it nerfs the AI quite a bit. It makes it easier to beat them. That would be a true fact. I gotta sell my uh, my marble. Actually, you know what? That was the alarm to end this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while we're off screen. Because you guys don't need to see me finagling with that kind of stuff. Um, this guy's going to do his farming triangle. That's beautiful. Uh, this guy's going to head over here to do that rank. Right into the university. This fella right here is on his way. I don't know. Where is he headed? Go over here. I'm going to have to do some chops in that direction anyway. And then this guy... Yet another hockey rink. Look at that. And then we're going to have an entertainment complex in the middle. How beautiful is that? And it, it's so cool because it's like this little ring. It's like this little, almost like an island, right? This little hockey island. I freaking love that. It's pretty hot. We're going to end it right there, as a matter of fact. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying Gathering Storm. I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying the Canadians. In Gathering Storm. We're going to find out just how strong these hockey rinks are. Just how great these national parks are we have planned. We're going to put trees everywhere. And then see what happens. Folks, do not forget. Like this video if you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about Gathering Storm. We'll see you next time. And bye-bye.